I have a good woman. I ain't good looking. But I do some cooking. I'm the old fat guy. So use that oven if you want some loving. Be like the old fat guy. Like the old fat guy. Welcome to another episode of You Can Make It with David Farrell. Today we're going to make pastry, pie pastry. You can use it for tarts or sausage rolls, but it also makes, of course, wonderful pies. I've tried many pie recipes over the years. Some called never fail, some made with shortening, some made with lard, some made with butter. I find that the one I keep going back to is the one on the back of the Tender Flake lard box. It just is, just like the name says, it's tender and it's flaky and I think the lard gives it a better browning and a better taste. So we're going to be using that recipe that comes right off of the box. We'll start off with five and a half cups or 1.4 liters of all-purpose flour and we'll add two teaspoons of table salt or 10 milliliters. And we'll just stir those together. Now, one of the secrets I find to making good pie, crease, uh, pie pastry is everything has to be very cold. So I'm going to be adding the lard but I've kept it in the fridge. Just give me a moment. So here we have the whole block of the lard. It's one pound or 454 grams. I'm just going to take it out, set the flour aside for a second, unwrap it, and cut it into four or five chunks. It just makes it easier to blend it in. But it's nice and hard because it's cold and that will make a better pie pastry because it doesn't blend as easily with the flour and leaves little chunks of lard in the pastry that makes the layers as they get rolled out and separate the different layers of the flour. So we'll put all the lard into the bowl and bring it over back. What we have here is called a pastry blender and it just cuts the lard into the flour and allows us to mix it in. So we're just going to start pressing it through the lard and it will build up on there. Just push it off and just keep pushing until the lard and the flour are mixed together and are about the size of peas. So just keep pushing it through just like that. And we'll keep going. Once in a while, knock the lard off of your pastry blender. See how it's coming into chunks now? There you go. You see how it's sort of a crumbly mixture? But it's got little chunks of the shortening in it, but other than that, it's well mixed in. That's what you're looking for. So now we've got to add some liquid to it. Oh, I had a piece of shortening that got away there. So we'll just set the flour mixture aside. And I have one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of vinegar in this measure. And I'm going to add one raw egg. And enough ice water, you want it really cold again, to make one cup or 250 milliliters. 
just like that. And then we'll just wipe up our counter a bit here because it's getting messy. And then we're going to mix that together. Well, I got the ice cubes in there, which you don't want to do. You just want the cold water, so we'll get the ice cubes out. And just add a bit more cold water. There we go, one cup. So, you just want to take a fork and beat that up. There we go. So we're going to flour mixture back, and now you want to add just enough of this liquid to form this into a bowl. If you put too much liquid in, it gets tough. If you mix it for too long, it gets tough. So it's kind of a feel thing you get to, and you got to remember you're not trying to get it into one uniform ball at this time. You're just starting to try to get it to stick together. So we'll put just about a quarter of liquid in and just fold it over. And we'll put another quarter of the liquid in. And fold it over. You can see how it's starting to come together and make bigger chunks. That's what you're looking for. So, we're going to put the third quarter of the water in now. Now it's getting a little harder to stir, which means you're getting closer to ready. Now, a little trick I like to do to see if I've got enough water in it is to squeeze it together and if it, most of it stays in a ball, then you've got enough water. If you end up with a lot of flour falling off of the ball, then you don't have enough. So I do have some little bits of soft flour falling down in this section here. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more of the water and stir it in. There we go. That, looking pretty good. You can see that it kind of sticks together. There's still a few raggedy pieces, but don't worry, they will mix together as you roll it. So you can see that if I just kind of push it together, it does form into a ball just like that. And that's what you're looking for. So now, the thing about this dough is, I always find it's better to work with the next day. So I'm just going to break it into three parts, because it makes three pie crusts, wrap it in cellophane, and then put it in the fridge. So let's turn it out of the bowl onto the counter. And you see how it's still a little crumbly. There's nothing wrong with that. That's actually what you're looking for. So there we go. There's our ball. And we'll cut it into three parts. There we go. And make it into three mounts. Now one thing you'll notice when you leave it overnight is the fluid goes through it and it won't be as raggedy tomorrow and it'll be easier to roll. So, I'll just roll those up in cellophane and tomorrow we'll be ready to use pies, whatever we want. The other thing you can do is we'll put the cellophane wrap pie in a plastic bag and put it in the fridge. Or freezer rather. They will freeze well for a month or two 
and take them out, thaw them, and use them then. Unlike most recipes, I can't try this for you because I have to make something with them. But let me assure you, this is a great pie dough. And if you look at my following recipe I'll be doing tomorrow for sausage rolls, you'll see it rolled out and what a beautiful crust it makes. When dinner time gets in, and your wife has made it clear, it's your turn to cook my dear. You have no need to fear. Make the dinner feature spouse, bring peace into your house, you can make it. If you're lucky, she will say, and life will be okay. Life will be okay. You can make it.